Now I'm joined by Elise Wilson from Simply You magazine and it looks like the pink theme is continuing through with hair trends for winter. Good morning Elise. Good morning. This is what we're talking about today, hair trends, yes. the colours that we should be looking out for. Yep. You have dyed your hair pink so obviously this is a thing. Tell me a little bit more about it. The pink hair trends? Yes. Yeah, well this is not dyed, this is actually just a coloured conditioner. So a bit of fun. Um, rosy hues are definitely trending this season. I've got a bit more full on, uh, but you could go as light as like a rose gold. Um, I've got one here that's just literally a coloured conditioner that you pop in five minutes and you've changed your hair colour completely. Really? So, And if it's a conditioner, then I guess it's quite good for your hair then? Yeah, yeah, it really protects your hair. It's not lightening it, it's not got any ammonia, it's just depositing a bit of colour. What about coppers and auburns? Are they still in? Yes, um, we've kind of gone through the copper trend now. We're going more for a deep auburn, uh, especially for winter as well. Uh, the same thing if you're a brunette, just adding a bit of warm uh, red tones to your hair, just to change it up really quickly. Sombre is something that I've been hearing, the buzzword at my hairdresser. I don't know what it means though, so I thought I'd ask you, you're the yeah. expert. Yeah, well it's a really subtle version of ombre and basically what that means is really virgin-like hair. So really sun-kissed, blondes, brunettes and coppers can do it, redheads. Right, so that's on screen what we've got now. <laughs> that's a great photo. Yeah, <laughs> so it's is it, really warming is up. Is it meant to look like you have and had your hair coloured? You know how there exactly. was a trend where it's meant to look like you've had it coloured? This is more natural? Yeah, so you've got the ombre which is um, very much dark to light at the end, so the Sombre is very just PC and multi-tonal. Natural, because hair is multi-tonal. Yeah, exactly. I'm blonde. I've tried going auburn and all sorts of things before. It does not work on me. I just looked awful. I yeah. looked washed out. So what can I do for blonde hair? Blonde hair, I would really recommend a coloured conditioner or a shampoo. So one we've got here, so a purple just really dispels any yellow tones in the hair. So perfect shampoo or conditioner, just deposits a bit of pigment into the hair to really banish that brassiness. I've used that fabulo, so it's really good stuff. Very it good. Always seems really weird though that you um, use purple in your blonde hair. It feels wrong. Yes, and it, it doesn't turn your hair purple. It's very gentle as well. It really is gentle. So that's one good thing for blondes. What else have you brought in with you? Let's have a look at some of your products. Yeah, well I've got Olaplex. So if if you're with your blonde hair, dyeing your hair at home or uh, at the salon, definitely protecting it with Olaplex, which is restoring the hair bonds um, and not stripping the hair and damaging it with the bleach and the ammonia. So that one's an amazing one. I've heard my hairdresser talk about that. You can buy it to use at home you as well? You can, yes. So they use it at salons in, the, um, in your hair colour and then take it at home for a treatment. Okay. And then these ones are basically just a hair mousse. So following on from dyeing your hair at home, but just re your natural colour. So adding a bit of red or adding a bit of brunette just to really make it really rich between colours. So that sounds like a really good way if you just wanted to have a subtle change, but you didn't want to go the whole full deal at the, at the yeah. time. Yeah. Excellent. Hey, well, thank you for coming in, Elise. And thank, thank you for bringing you. all these wonderful products for us to look at. Definitely going to try the pink.